The Detroit Lions head into week 10 to face the Jacksonville Jaguars back at home in what I know will be a raucous crowd at Ford Field, and they will not be facing Trevor Lawrence. He will be out for the second week in a row with a shoulder sprain, so we'll have to play Mac Jones. But the Detroit Lions got some news of their own. Now, we did report yesterday that Maurice Alexander had been or was reported to be signed to the practice squad. Well, we got confirmation of that today and just like that's why I named yesterday's video musical roster moves because Maurice Alexander has returned for the first time this season and linebacker Abraham Boplan has returned to the practice squad so in two days we signed Isaiah Thomas and Abraham Boplan this is like the the third time man he's been waived if you include cutting from the 90 man roster down to the 53 but that's not all the news that we got as well I wanted to look and and show you guys this here this is coming from Tim 20 men's Twitter this is the practice report Wednesday now of course Wednesday is the first practice report of the week then you have Thursday Friday and then game status so Friday is usually injury designations shortly after the practice and then Thursday we hope to see progress from Wednesday. So you'll notice that Sam Laporta is no practice. I do not think he's going to play. When it comes to Taylor Decker, his shoulder, Dan Campbell said today that he'll know more tomorrow after tomorrow's practice. And Malcolm Rodriguez limited practice. I'm going to say that Malcolm is going to be out for, what is this, a fourth week in a row now? Three or four And I don't know if Taylor Decker is going to play. I think that he's not going to play because this is no, (laughs) again, when somebody precedes something with no disrespect, they mean all the disrespect in the world. We got to deal with Trayvon Walker. We got to deal with Josh Hines Allen. But we just dealt with Daniil Hunter and that defensive line for the Houston Texans. And Goff wasn't even sacked one time. And that was with the kind of the makeshift defensive line. Now, they could, they kept Panay Sewell on the right side last week. They could possibly move him to the left side if they know Taylor is going to be out. Dan Campbell said they found out so late in the week that they just decided to keep Panay to the right. But if Taylor's going to miss another game, they could bring Panay Sewell to the left to protect Jared Goff's blind spot. I'm not really tripping on Trayvon Walker like that and Josh Hines if Panay Sewell should be able to kind of respectably handle him. I mean, Panay gets kind of, He gets worked occasionally, but it's more uh, often than not that he actually defends that side or protects Jared Goff. So I don't know. Right now, it really depends on tomorrow. If we see limited practice tomorrow, I think Taylor's going to be out. And I think that we're just going – because remember, the Lions are about to hit a stretch here where they're going to have after this week, all right? They essentially have – as a matter of fact, let me see. Where are we at? So we play the 10th. We play the 17th. 17, 24, and then 28. So I could see Taylor Decker being out on the 17th, and then that three-game and 11-day stretch, he could be a part of that. So I think that Taylor's going to be out, but more we'll, we'll see more tomorrow. If it says limited practice, I think he's going to be out. So welcome back, Abraham Boplan. Man, I, I couldn't imagine being a practice squad guy. Because if you're a practice squad guy, I mean, you just can not. You cannot make plans. Like, you're probably in some... Because I, I saw the other day that Jake Bates is still on like this... The where he's living is only temporary and that he care <laughs> he, like, he doesn't have a place to put his game balls or something like that. So he brings them with him to the stadium. Something crazy like that. So... Must be tough to be a practice squad guy. So let me know your thoughts on the return of Abraham Boplan. Do you think that Malcolm and or Taylor is going to play on Sunday? I'm going to say Malcolm, no. Taylor, maybe. It Both will depend on tomorrow. So tomorrow, if when I see this, if I make a video after that, which I probably will, let's be honest, then I will probably give you a, a updated, my updated thoughts on that. Wanted to show you guys something very quickly. This is from Green Gridiron. They are expanding their Detroit Lions helmets into Detroit Lions collectibles. This is called a Detroit Lions Infinity Light. They make one of every team, but this is, of course, we're talking about our Detroit Lions. That's what it looks like 
Um, but check this out. This is what it looks like in motion, which is super cool. Very, very cool, man. So the Detroit Lions Infinity Light, that's what it looks like in motion. But the cool part is that they have, and I'll bring this in when I make another video, is what it looks like when it's not moving. It actually, let me see if I can bring this up real quick because I just downloaded that picture. All right, so this is what it looks like turned on. If you just turn it on, right? So it's turned on, it's looking like that, or it, maybe if it's just sitting and it's not on position, I got to do, I got to look and see. But this is what it looks like. And then I guess you hit a switch or something and it turns into that, which is super cool, man. Very cool there. So I'll do some research and find out. I didn't really think about, well, is it on there? I'm pretty sure it is on. Looking at this right here. Okay, so it looks like this is what it looks like. That's what it looks like when it's off. And then if you cut it on, then you have the infinity, infinity effect, which is super cool. But anyway, I'll see. I saw a video about it, brought that video in. So you can use the promo code whenever you make a purchase from Green Gridiron or whatever it is. Even if you don't use the link to get there, use promo code D-E-T-S-Y-N. D-E-T-S-Y-N. The promo code used to be LS24, but all the syndicates have... Um, we're partnered with all Green Gridiron is partnered with the entire syndicate brand. So we all have our different codes in mind. It's D-E-T. I wanted mine changed so I can match theirs. Mine is D-E-T-S-Y-N. When you check out, you'll know that you'll see the percent off. And then you'll also see the tag. It'll be like a little tag with the promo code. That way you know that it's in there. Plus, again, you'll see some, some stuff off. And you can use it on top of a sale or a previous discount that they're offering. So you get their discount and you get mine as well. All right? So just... Kind of thinking outside the box, I'm actually going to get me one. And I think what I'm also going to do is get one of those for a giveaway as well. So we're just going to have all type of giveaways going on. Speaking of giveaways, speaking of giveaways, the giveaway will be this week. So keep an eye on the community tab. It's only going to be up for 24 hours. And I misspoke yesterday. What you're going to do is when you comment on the community post, you're going to hit return. Then you're going to type the name that you want entered. It has to either match your channel name or your channel tag. You're going to. So the first thing you're going to do is hit enter or return or anything like that to create a space between the tag, your name, your channel name and what you type in. Because what I noticed last time we did this, it worked. It was almost flawless. But when I try to copy the name, if it's too close to the tag and I click on the tag, it'll take me to your channel. It's just a nightmare. And somebody put in the comment section was like, well, you can use YouTube comment selectors. Okay, then. Well, give me a link. Put the link in the uh, in your comment. So that way I'll know what you're talking about. All right? <laughs> Help a brother out. So, yeah, looking forward to that. Keep your eyes posted, and let me know what you think, man. This channel is made possible by viewers, subscribers, and members just like you. You could be anywhere else on YouTube, but you choose to rock with me. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.